live here at the American Airlines Center in Miami, Florida for Game 7 of the NBA Finals between the Miami Heat and the San, Anto and the San Antonio Spurs. I'm Evan Amster with Evan Masters. We're here there are, because there are a ton of stories, a ton of, st ton of huge, huge storylines going into this final game of the NBA Finals. Uh, there's the Spurs and Greg Popovich trying to rebound after a crushing loss in Game 6. And there's LeBron James trying to prove himself to his doubt and win his second consecutive NBA championship. Evan, what do you think is the biggest storyline heading into this game? Well, let, I want to see how the Spurs can rebound after just a crushing blow. You know, they could have won the championship if Ryan didn't make that three. Absolutely. Yeah, so the Spurs, they got to fight hard and hopefully they'll win. Uh, I'd have to disagree. I think this is all about the Heat tonight. And I think it's all about LeBron trying to just prove himself, to prove that he is uh, one of the all time greats and that he has potential to be one of the all time greats. And I think if he's able to win tonight, especially considering uh, that great comeback that they had in Game 6, if he's able to win that game and lead them to victory and win another Finals at MVP, I think he's well on his way to be, be, being one of the top five players in NBA history. What do you think about that? Well, I think LeBron is already a top five player in NBA history, just on pure athleticism and skill. Mm -hmm. And the other thing for the Spurs is that they, Greg Popovich has to make smarter decisions in the final quarter. Absolutely, quarters. yeah. You, like, you worry that they're going to take, like, to shoot threes on you when you can't even get the offensive rebound. And then, mm -hmm. man, like you said, three. Yeah, see, I think a lot of people are uh, not too high on Popovich after that decision he made to uh, sit Tim Duncan. But I actually think that he's a big part of the reason that the team uh, is that old and has still made it this far. And, uh, and uh, like I said, I think uh, this is really LeBron's time to shine. And, I don't think he's a top five player yet, but I think if he wins tonight, get his second championship in a row, I think he really has a decent shot of being in the conversation. Uh, either way, it's probably going to be a great game, ton of great storylines. It's going to be a I lot totally, of fun. I totally agree. Yeah. Hopefully uh, we get a classic of the great game six. Um, so that will about wrap it up for our pregame show from American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida. I'm Evan, Am I'm Evan Amster. I'm Evan Amster. See you at game time.